the municipality of Oslo. Live from Oslo Covered Board, this is the 2019 Miss Oslo Beauty Pageant, wearing the lovely glittery dresses by our own Oslo Band Pride, La Belle Vasquez. Skills by John Montalban and accessories by Jonathan Aragon. Please welcome your fabulous 14 official candidates.
amazing. Yes, and it is an expression of oneself as well. Oh, it's yes. a form of art, so yes. we all are going to enjoy that. Thank you so much. Hello! We got Miss Nagundi. Hello, hello. How, how does it feel to be here joining us uh, representing your paranda? I'm sure they've all been dreaming about this moment. So let's get down to it with a Q&A. And I know for a fact that one of um, your goals, or your focus, you focuses on children's welfare. So tell us your insights about child abuse and neglect. Growing up having parents who are so good to me, I feel so blessed to help them. And when I go, go went to the other places and saw those children out there knowing that they were abused, they were not fortunate for being in my place. I was I'm so sad seeing them and I wanted to somehow aid that problem by giving them welfare and enough education for everyone who's caused in poverty in you. Oh, thank you. Well, as you can see, and the children are our future, and thus we must take good care of them. Thank you so much. Candidate number eight. Now we have candidate for Miss Loho. Of, uh, being a teacher, yes. you, are ha you have to be one of those. Yes. Now, how are you convincing people about the importance of education? Well, um, I am a firm, a firm believer that education is a fundamental basis of our living. And if we can get a, a very qualified or quality education that we can give to people, especially to the young ones, because we do believe that our economy will not have progress if we invest into our young ones. And I am a true believer that education should never be a privilege, but it is our right. What is a cadet engineer, by the way? We want to know. It is being a construction also where the supervisor is listening. Ah, I see. So, maybe you can tell us about your dream house someday. What would you like, or what would, how would you like your dream house to look? Walk us through the whole imagination. What would you like to put in your house someday? Um, I didn't ah. think about it. Ah. <laughs> it. Me, I already thought about it. I want my own man cave. Just everything that I want in one room. Where, where nobody can get inside, just me. Okay, <laughs> let's make that happen. With our friends. <laughs> let's continue. Our next candidate. Yes, we have from Maive, candidate number 11. Yes, all wow. right. So, Miss Maini, you stated that your favorite book is biology. So, biology, as we uh, well, for everyone to know, it's a study of life. So, for you, what is the meaning of life? Good evening, everyone. For me, the meaning of life is to accept others and to love others. I want to be the voice of the voiceless and be able to play 
as the solid bridge for everyone in order for us to reach the goals that we are aiming, in order for us to have a pros prosperity in our community. Acceptance is what we need in order for our community to be united because I do believe that unity is what we are as a human. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is human nature to relate with one another, to form a tribe, to form, to form a barangay, and that's it's very important that unity is part of it. Now, let's proceed with Nueva Caceres, our Miss uh, Tablet number 12. Wow, 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 amazing. Very tall young lady we have right in front of us. I heard that you wish to become a police officer. Wow. She's she's going to be a, she's going to be an intimidating police officer someday. I can I can tell. Yes, all the criminals will really. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, stop that, if you stop, then stop. The other way. <laughs> now let me see. If there is a crime which you wish to eradicate or at least lessen, what would this crime be and why? The crime would be killing our marine ecosystem. As an advocate for fighting for a plastic free ocean, I would like to use my voice and encourage the people to preserve our marine ecosystem. As we all know that plastic decomposed 1,000 years and not just, not just really decomposed but it turns to microplastic. And also, let, let us not be the pollution, rather we can be a solution. That would be all. Thank you. Nice message. I mean, um, it is certain that humans are the main antagonist in the storyline, in this narrative that we have for climate change. So and we are still the key. That's what the, the key, yes, the protagonist as well of the storyline. Okay? Yes. And next let's move on with our storyline right now. Yes, with we our have next candidate. Poblacion, candidate number thirteen. Yes. Right. So your advocacy stated that you want to raise awareness about climate change. What are the things you want to discuss to all the people here about this? As a candidate of Mises Law 2019, I, I was given the opportunity to inform my fellow Estevano that our environment is currently at risk. So we must take action and take further take further doing so that in order in order for us to to in order for us to prevent further damage because because the future generation doesn't deserve a, an environment wherein we, we we in the present is oblivious about it and that is all good evening thank, thank you Miss Poblacion I like how we, she used the term oblivious yes yes <laughs> that's very difficult uh, that's a that's not a common word to use but anyways props to her and now. we are now down to our last and yes. final candidate. Yes, candidate kind of number 14 from Pogdod. Your advocacy is also quite interesting. It is to encourage you to embrace their flaws. Tell us about your insights on this common code, which is nobody is perfect. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe in saying that nobody is perfect. Because even myself, I am not perfect. We all have flaws, we all have imperfections, but we should always remember that we are here. We are here existing because we are going to leave our value. We are not worthless. We are going to stand, raise your voices, make a little gestures because I believe that little gestures can help change the world. Thank you and good evening. Find it out right now in random order. Let's uh, let's go back here in the side clicking. All right, the first candidate to start with our next round to join us is Miss Lapa Caceres because she is 
our one of our candidates to join as our wild card. Yes, she Happy. got the number. Or she got the most number of votes apparently, yes. which allowed her to pursue the top eight. Yes, she got the secured spot. Yes, next lady to make it to the final cut, Miss Hatan. Congratulations on making it to the top eight. Your question or your phrase or word is water scarcity. Water scarcity. Water scarcity. As we all know that the current issue here in Oslo is water shortage and. And as a candidate of Miss Oslo 2019, I will encourage people to change their lifestyle and their lifestyle, their lifestyle, and also preserve, pre preserve and nurture the water because, as we all know, that water is very important with regards with regards with drinking purposes and domestic uses. And we must change ourselves because as we change ourselves, we can change the world and we can nurture, we can preserve our water. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Water is life indeed, yeah, right? Thanks. A human can survive without food, but with water for a week. But without water, you cannot survive. You cannot last three days. Imagine. Yes. Let's go to candidate. Our next candidate, rather. We have Miss Hatan. Yes, the future uh, beauty empress. Ah, oh, amazing with her uh, goal to becoming, uh, to owning her own makeup line. Congratulations, please. Uh, big... Our transfers. Would you like to give the honor, please? Word or uh, phrase is. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Oh, it's pollution. Pollution. Thank you for that word. The world is slowly changing, and so is us humans. And today we face various environmental issues, and the most important issue that we face today is pollution. There are different kinds of pollution: air pollution water pollution and the main or the main reason for that is our lack of discipline and being responsible in taking care of the environment and i would like to address this that if we don't have the initiative to do something about it this will get worse and if one day we will run out of time this will threaten the lives of the future of our children 
because it plays a vital role in their survival. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever we receive, whatever we consume from the environment deserves a direct moral consideration and not just a consideration that is merely derived from our personal interests. And the environment has given us a limited access to its resources. And so we owe it to our mother nature to commit ourselves in making it a better place, a better one, not just for us, but also for the future generation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Very well said. I couldn't, I couldn't add more to her answer. It was well grounded. Now let's have Ms. Lobo, our Hello, Ms. Loho. Ah, amazing that you finally uh, came through and be part of the top eight. Congratulations. Your catchphrase is species extinction. Species extinction. As we all can see that we are facing the abnormality of our surroundings, we can see that we are currently um, having a global warming which can cause a total drought in our society and that can cause species extinction and that is even worse than our humanity will also will be extinct. And I am here standing before you not as, a, not as an expert but I am here as a concerned citizen that we must have to put to put particular attention to this kind of issues because these are new but these are pervasive as ever. And we need people to work, we need people to act. Thank you. Plastic waste. Plastic waste. 
it is a it is a part of environmental issues nowadays. Now we can't prevent plastic waste by being responsible enough by using the five R's, which is we think, we use, reduce, recycle, and spend. And after that, we can help a healthy we can help have a healthy environment. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Straight to the point. Yes. We use, reduce, recycle, respect. Easy. Now we got Ms. Tan Long Sir. Hello. Hey, so we got two words left. And uh, let me read this one for you. It is Destruction of Marine Habitat. Destruction of Marine Habitat.
to be awarded by Aguaste Izar Pipino and Vice Mayor Christopher Ahmed. Yes, 